Hello, Bumpy Mixquigums here. I want to thank you all for joining me as I continue with my first look series, looking at Reign of Kings. Episode 4 is here, and quite a bit has happened since the last episode. I kind of recorded another episode, but not a lot happened. I felt like it was kind of a waste of time just doing what I was doing. I know you guys like to see things change and everything else, and yeah, it's sweet, sweet, nice and everything. But, I figured you'd like to actually see some stuff get done or handled. So, one of the things I did was I repositioned my front gate a little bit back further. I also moved this wall slightly. I added a little tiny room in here and I shoved a giant bed inside the little tiny room and I actually logged out and survived. However, when I logged back in, my gate was open and I'm not sure, I'm I'm 100% sure I didn't leave the gate open. So it's possible something bugged out on the server, it's possible when I logged in it opened the gate, it's also possible somebody lockpicked. In addition to that, I left a whole bunch of wood burning in my, my, oops, didn't actually mean to hit that, sorry, <clears throat> inside my furnace here, or my forge, and I didn't have any charcoal, so I was a little bummed out, I had one charcoal, so I was a little bummed out about that, however, the meat that I put in there that I cooked was all cooked and still in there, and I don't see anything else missing. So I've upgraded just about everything, possibly everything in here at this point. And I've gone and I've made some steel. And I am going to get decked out in steel, weaponry, and armor. And we're going to go out, actually you would think we would go out once we had steel, weaponry, and armor, and start murdering fools left, right, and center. And while I can indeed do that, I'm not going to do that right yet. I'm going to say that for episode 5. What I am going to do in this episode, however, is murder, death, kill. No, not murder, death, kill. Um, what I am planning to do in this episode is go and get some more oil, because oil is actually quite hard to find. You have to find the swamp, and that was a place that kind of eluded me for a very, very long period of time. However, eventually I did manage to find it, so I was pretty super stoked about that. And I'm going to take off all of my iron gear, including my iron axe, put it all away. And I believe I have the steel ingots on me. I do. And I believe I have enough to craft the... I need flax. To craft the entire set of plate armor, steel plate, and my weapon if I didn't misjudge things. Which I don't think I did, but it's possible. I mean, I will not put it past me for misjudging. It does happen. I have made mistakes in the past, I'm sure I'll make them again. I want to make sure that I can do the weapon. Like the other armor is okay, it should be six, it is six. Alright, we'll start with the weapon. And we will put that up in our inventory, there it is. It is a sweet, sweet, nice, and we're going to do this. And once all that is done, we will continue onward, crafting the next piece of gear. And there that is. And then again with the gloves, the glovey gloves. And we have literally just enough steel to complete all of this, which is really, really cool. Like I, the amount of steel that I made was perfect. It was literally the perfect amount. I have a little bit of unrefined steel left over. And it's enough to get like one more ingot, so there's still some things we can do, but not a ton, not a ton. I also made a bow and some arrows. Some iron-tipped arrows it seemed to be more than I needed, so I went with that. And now at this point, ladies and gentlemen, I am going to continue on my little adventure. I'm going to put all my armor on. I'm going to be a shiny beast now. No more walking around all weak-like. There we have it, and let's see what our weapon looks like. Oh, snap, look at that thing. Look at that thing. That is disgusting. Oh, I absolutely love it. All right. Well, there you have it, folks. Let's get out of our little place. The bear is probably around here, and he may choose to come chew on us. That is a very real possibility. But what we're going to do is we're going to wave to the bear. Hi, bear. And we're going to actually go over and see if we can't grab ourselves up some charcoal. And by charcoal, I mean oil, because those are two exactly identical things. Not really. We're also going to eat some steak along the way. And, yeah, we're just going to gobble and we're going to listen to the sound of my gullet. Mm-mm, good. All right, so we're just going to gobble down some steaks. I mean, this dude's, like, ravenously hungry. He's just like, and the whole steak is gone in, like... What, three, four seconds? 
I mean, if you could eat a steak in three or four seconds, first off, I don't envy your bowels, because I'm sure that's going to do quite some terrible work on you. In addition to that, we actually have a lot of water on us, too, so we can chug a lug some water, which I'm kind of happy, or happy uh, doing, sorry. I thought I heard some noises. I, like, stumbled all over my like, <laughs> Anyhow, um, yeah, if you can eat a steak in, like, four or five seconds, I think you're going to have a whole lot of problems beyond just your bowels. I mean... Pretty, pretty good chance you're going to, like, choke on it. I mean, you can get meat stuck in your teeth. You might even rip a tooth out if you're, you're eating that ravenously. I mean, let's be honest. Three-second steak, steak consumption, not exactly the best thing in the world for you. All right. Wow, we can actually take an overlook view of the city over there. I have never been here before up on this hill. And somebody has a bed up here and everything. I think that's pretty cool. So earlier on... In uh, episode 3, I may have made mention that there was a few folks that were uh, trying to take the throne from the king while he was offline, and then they paid for it when he got back online, because apparently he had minions, lackeys, or flunkies, if you will. And, yeah, it's Moon Silver, in fact. He was the one that kind of got wrecked. He ended up on the beach naked with a clay house. His entire house got destroyed, and, well, I guess bad stuff happened to him, so... It is simply what it is. It is simply what it is. But no one's really chosen to mess with me except the two... I want to say it was just the two guys. I can't recall if in episode one anyone rolled up on us. But between episode two and three, there were two dudes that rolled up on me. They were basically decked out like I am right now. And, well, they were pretty bad at what they were doing. However, being decked out in the gear that I'm decked out in right now, they didn't necessarily have to be great at anything because... I was naked with a wooden club, not the driftwood club, mind you, but a wooden club. And despite me owning them quite handedly, I... I don't know. I felt like I was probably going to end up losing that fight in the long run. The only good thing was, they started hitting each other, not intentionally. But, like, the one dude just sat back and was watching his buddy shoot me. Or shoot at me. So I think he might have hit me once. I think he did. Like, the first shot caught me, and then I, like, juked. And then I rolled up on him and I clubbed him like four times before he switched to his melee weapon. And then the melee dude is like, Rawr! And he ran forward when the when his buddy was meleeing me and the other guy and I were just going at it. And he started swinging and he just, I think like three times he clocked his own buddy with like an axe like I got in my hands right now. So yeah, it was actually pretty sweet. It was pretty sweet. And then, like I said, the server locked up and well, I assumed I was dead. I assumed like I locked up and froze and then I was killed because my base was only like 30% complete I had like one wall up on the side it wasn't even as far as I wanted it and yeah I figured that was it I was done there was no coming back from that but no it turned out I was actually okay and I came back to the server the next day just to see what was left of my beautiful beautiful creation everything was I was still alive and had all my equipment it was amazing I was so super happy so what's cool right now is a lot of people chose to build in these like super duper common areas and I chose not to do that and I think I may have made the right choice. I've only seen I think three to four people even roll up near my base at all like at all so it was actually quite cool. It was quite cool to um, not really have to worry so much about people raiding me and I haven't done anything to quite upset them. Now I do plan to go murdering people at the end of uh or during episode 5, maybe capture a few fools, I don't know, I don't know. I don't know exactly what the plan is, but something along those lines, get into some PvP fighting so you guys can see, I mean, I'm at the point now where I'm kitted out all the way, I've got all the gear I can get, all steel, everything is ready to go, I am fully decked out and ready to murder fools, so, yeah, so, yeah. Alright, so let's see here. There's a lot of hay to be found in these, like, plains areas, and you need hay for certain things. And you'll forgive me, guys, while I'm, like, choking and coughing to death off of, uh, off of the mic. I'm having to mute myself. I don't know what's going on. Like, I ate. I'm like, alright, I'm feeling good. Let's, let's get started. And then, like, right as I was launching the game, I just started coughing, like, profusely. I don't know what happened. Like, maybe I'm allergic to, like, I don't like cooked carrots. I find that they... Uh, I don't know. I'm not a big fan. Anyway, my wife's like, oh, you can put the cooked carrots in this other stuff and you don't really taste it. Well, I tasted it a little bit, but 
it's possible that maybe I'm allergic to carrots in some way because I, I feel like maybe this is an allergenic reaction. I don't want the berries, actually. Alright, so it took me quite some time to find the swamp. In fact, I know it's over here somewhere. I'm still not 100% certain exactly where. So my guess is it's over in this direction. Yes, it's right there. So there's the swamp. Um, oil is like the last tier resource that you need to achieve to start making steel. And I ran around and I couldn't find any of it at all. Like The oil nodes were completely bare. There was nothing. And then right as I was giving up, like, I found the, a few that were just on the ground where you could hit it for one, so I got a little tiny bit of oil. Right as I was preparing myself to leave, all of them, like, respawned, and I just ran around from one to one to one to one and took it all. And you'll see over there, they're already up and waiting for me. So I'm pretty excited over here. We get to get some free oil. I say free. All the resources in the game are free, minus taxes, but free of hopefully hostility and anger. So I'm rolling deep with my steel gear. I'm ready. I mean, if somebody wants to come roll up on me, I will fight back. Um, I'm not going to initiate hostilities right now, but I will definitely go try to roll some noobs in episode 5. So don't forget, folks, I'm going to be doing this first look series, kind of covering the development. I'll probably come back to it every couple of weeks or something as they implement more and more stuff. And chances are everything's going to be destroyed and I might have to start from scratch, but... If not, then it's going to be sweet, sweet, nice. In addition, I did mention that Splattercat said he's going to send me an invite to his private server. So perhaps everything will not be destroyed because I will probably end up spending more of my time playing on his private server with him than I would on just this random server that I'm playing on right now. So those are the things to think about, as it were. And I like it. I like it a lot. I'm hoping we can pull another like two, 300 oil out of this. That will set us up pretty nicely. There's still some stuff I need to get. Like, I need to get charcoal, like, a lot. I need to get that handled immediately. I also need to be able to hit this. I'm seeming to have a hard time with that. Like, charcoal is my biggest thing, which you get for burning wood, but the problem with that is... Well, I, I don't know if you have to be logged in for that to happen or what, but yeah, my charcoal, I think I burned, like, 200 wood, and it was all gone. I don't know if there was a bug. Somebody, like I said, my gate was open. And the only thing I saw that was missing, I kept most of the stuff on me. So I was hoping that no one could like roll up into my little my little dungeon that I made for myself. And, um, you know, steal the stuff off of me, murder me, and steal my stuff. And apparently they didn't, but they didn't seem to steal anything from my chests either. And I had some good stuff in there, so I don't know. I don't know exactly what happened. But, something did happen. Sorry, I was listening there. I thought I heard extra footsteps and nasty bits coming my way, but apparently not. Apparently, that is not the case. So don't forget, folks, make sure you comment on the series. Hopefully you enjoy it, and you're not just commenting because, Hey, what a free game? Which is okay, if you are. I mean, I am, I am okay with that as well. But I don't know, I find this is actually quite enjoyable. I've kind of avoided this, like, first-person survival... Uh, nudie pants, run around, don't die, craft things, and survive. Um, type of game for a little while. It's not because I didn't find that they would be fun. It's just I was looking for the right one. I find that a lot of developers start these and then they just stop for absolutely no reason. And then there's nothing done with the game. So they get to a certain point and then absolutely nada. Absolutely bupkiss. Wow, we got a lot. We got a lot of oil in this run. <clears throat> I'm getting a little bit more bold and brazen as I'm sure you guys are noticing. I'm actually doing resource runs in broad daylight now. I did a lot of scurrying around at night like some sort of cockroach, trying to avoid conflict when I was naked and running around with a club. But now I'm all bold and brazen, walking around and like, yeah, I just got a bunch of resources. What are you going to do about it? It's kind of fun. It's kind of fun. I enjoy it. Alright, well, I think that is it for the oil. Let's see how much we ended up actually gathering up. Ooh, that's a lot. I think I had some on me already, though. I think I had some on me already. Well, um, I'm not sure what to do at this point. I mean, we can go back and probably make some, like, lockpicks and stuff. Maybe go on a, a pillaging run. We have to make sure that we pillage the right places, though. We don't want to get murdered by, like, going up against the largest guild on the server. I mean, we could be thieves, and you guys will see that I will murder anyone who is sleeping anywhere. If they're if they're going to sleep out in the open, I think they deserve death. That's That's just my thoughts. I mean, they can build a little shack and sleep inside the shack. It doesn't take that long to build. 
Like, you can build out all wood blocks, throw up a crest, and then just go to sleep. And you should be fine. But, a lot of people don't do that. Like, I spent hours and hours and hours cultivating my area because I didn't want to be one of those lame little dudes. So, I put in the time to get to where I'm at, and I was very, very fortunate. This server is far less hostile than most. Also, let's take a look at the bow and arrow. I made this. I haven't really tried it out yet, so... Let's see here. Oh, I shot him in the foot or something. I don't know. There we go. Oh, yeah. He's he's not enjoying life right now. Oh, oh. He's on the run. But he, I don't think he can run that fast with all these arrows in his booty. Alright, let's finish him off with our axe. I, I'm pretty sure he's not going to be super fast at this point. Yeah. Get it, yeah! Alright, we just dropped him down, getting some meat. Uh, I don't know how much room we have, though. Well, we got a little bit of room. That's the downside to the armor. I would like to see them, like, put the armor, like, when you equip it, it disappears out of your inventory. I mentioned this before. It might have been in episode 4 where I actually cut the full episode because, well, I didn't really accomplish much, and I, I did some building, and I know you guys didn't get to see much of the building processes in this game, and... It's pretty much how you would expect. I mean, I'm sure I showed some of it, but... I figured you'd want to see a little bit more action, see me roaming around, see different places on the map. And, well, I've kind of done that in this episode, so that's kind of my goal here, is just to kind of show off and be like, Yeah, look at all my high-tech stuff. Now, I very easily could still get owned. I mean, the server does seem kind of laggy, but I guess it's the same with every server. And oftentimes there's teleporting people, teleporting creatures, and it gets real, real hard to fight in those circumstances. And I think that's how I ended up getting killed. Remember I told you guys back in episode one that I tried to do this recording and I got rolled re right away and I didn't understand exactly what was happening. I was blocking and I was still getting hit from pretty far out. Like when I got hit I turned around and I'm like how is he still hitting me? And he was like he was like as far away as that tree meleeing me. I don't I don't know. I don't know what's going on. But yeah it's uh that's kind of a real a real problem I guess. Alright, I saw some broken broken up uh, walls and a couple of these clay homes down here on the beachfront, and I went inside looking around. I think I... I don't think I got anything out of it. I was thinking that I got something, but I actually, now that I think about it again, I don't think I got anything out of that. So we're just going to make a nice casual run around in our full plate equipment and be like, yep, yep, that's what you get for messing with us. We are fully decked out and ready to roll anyone who challenges us, pretty much. Oh, there's a sleeping guy right there. I told you guys, if there's a sleeping person, I have absolutely no qualms about murdering them. At least for now. I mean, when I go and I play with the Splattercat on the Nerd Castle and all that stuff, that's not gonna I'm not gonna have the same mentality, but for now, this dude definitely needs to get dropped. You do not sleep out in the open, buddy. Open air stuff. Uh oh. That might that might have been a mistake. I think that's a right, that's a bad dude that I just messed with. I don't know. I feel like I may have just made a terrible mistake. Hopefully nobody saw me. Because there's like the biggest black something guild that's got a really, really huge castle. Kind of near my castle. So, yeah, I might have just like upset the balance of uh, my livelihood. I don't know. I don't know. It does announce when people die, but it doesn't say who killed them. So, there is that. There is that. So, if we roll up on any noobs, I'm definitely going to go roll roll them and steal whatever they have on them. I just got some more bandages, which is always nice. Love to carry that stuff around. Makes me feel good. Could have sworn I saw like arrows flying at me, but I guess it was just like glitches in the sky. But yeah, yeah, stuff is happening. Stuff is going pretty good. Just gonna kinda roam around here a little bit. We have a ton of clay by the way. I don't think I need any more clay. Like I feel like I've got plenty at this point. So, I'm not sure what to do next. Um, we can go back try to refine some more stuff. I'll show you guys how to actually make some steel. And actually, it's a two-fold process. Or technically a three-fold process if you count. Uh, run around and harvesting oil and everything else. So, it does take quite a bit to do, but... It's, well, it's the final tech of the game. There's still a few things that I really need more of that I don't have. But, eh, it is simply what it is. It is simply what it is. Alright, so this is where Moon Silver's base is at. This is his base right here, if I'm not mistaken. It's just all clay, a big giant square of clay. Awfulitude, because he got rolled. Oh, well it was. Uh, it doesn't look like it is anymore. So it looks like he has had to relocate. Oh, yes. 
We will take that mother load, thank you very much. We will take 2,000 wood. Well, 1,500 wood, I suppose. Alright, well that worked out exceptionally well for us. I am super excited about that. And all that charcoal is definitely, definitely a nice little boom to us. Alright, well we're really, really thirsty, and we're a little hungry, so I think we can shove some berries up our nostrils. Oh, we see somebody right in front of us. Are we going to roll the noob? Are we going to roll the noob? I think we might. I think we might have to. Also, I'm not sure where he disappeared to. Like, he was just right here. Now he's gone. I don't know what happened to him. I'm assuming he ran off in this direction, but, again, I don't... I don't see him any longer. So, there's no telling what happened to him. Huh. Well, I saw him. I was shoving berries in my face. It's that eating. It's always the eating that'll always get you guys. Well, we weren't 100% prepared for that, I guess. Could be, too, that he just, like, he was there and he glitched way ahead of where he was at when I saw him, so... I mean, that is also a very, very real possibility. And he could have rolled all the way over here to this little hovel. In fact, I think maybe that's what happened. I'm not 100% certain, but I feel like maybe that's what happened. Like, this door looks like I can just, like... Oh, it's locked. So it looks like I can just, like, open it, but... No, apparently not. And I thought I saw, like, a fire pit or something over here, but apparently not. Well, I could break my way through that if I had to, but... Eh. Alright, so let's see here. It is unfortunate that you can't do anything to really deter people. Because if you get, like, five, six lockpicks, you can pretty much break into anywhere. I mean, you can make, like, maybe ten gates or something, but eh. Eh. I say eh. But it is simply what it is. They're talking about speed hacking and stuff like that. That wolf is upside down. I think he's on to us, too. Well, we're going to avoid him if we can. I think we can. Oh, look at this. Alright, well, I'm going to come over here and see... No, no charcoal. We're just going to be little thievy people. Ooh, some more wood, though. Don't really have room for it. I don't want to give up any of my other stuff. I mean, my other stuff isn't great, but it's something. Oh, I know what else I need to do. I need to get some more feathers, guys. Because my, my fletching ability is actually quite hampered at this point. And that means that I am going to need to play around in my inventory here for a minute. Hopefully not get rolled. I know it's real, real dark right now, guys. And for that, I do apologize. But it is simply what it is. I'm going to leave the liver on the ground. I need feathers, and I don't know... Well, I suppose getting feathers is right up near where my base is at, so perhaps I'll do that. We'll gobble up some berries along the way. So hopefully you guys are enjoying this particular Let's Play, this first look, if you will. The game is actually quite fun. The PvP, it's pretty well done. I mean, if the servers stabilize a little bit more, they optimize the game, maybe they add a little bit more... I don't know, like, balance issues like you should be able to fortify your base and then only have it siegeable as opposed to people being able to just roll up and lockpick like, I think that's a little too easy now granted getting lockpicks is not the easiest thing in the world to do but it's also not the hardest now I've never found a diamond I'm not even sure how to find a diamond at this point I think it's probably by killing the stuff around the undead Dili or the plague village as it were but I mean, it still seems slightly too simplistic. Because I think you need a diamond to actually make a lockpick. Not sure why exactly, but I'm pretty sure that's one of the requirements. So, that being said, like I said, I I feel like there should be something you can make. It could be even, you know, insanely expensive. I would be totally fine with that. Also, physics should work a little bit better. Just saying. Just saying. Yeah, they rolled over here pretty hardcore. I mean, look at this. They just, like, wrecked this little group of sleeping individuals. There's a moose. I'm just going to run past the moose. I don't think the moose attack. Oh, maybe it does. Oh, yeah, the moose looks like he's hostile. Oh, uh, maybe not. No, he's running. Okay. Well, in around this lake, there are ducks, and the ducks will allow you to get feathers. So, that will alleviate my fletching needs. But again, eh, it is what it is. I have a decent supply of iron still sitting back at the base. I am going to need to do another iron run eventually, but 
I think I could probably break off the episode. Maybe I'll get the feathers, show you what that's all about, and hopefully nobody's playing around in my base. It looks like indeed somebody is. Because it looks like my gate is open once again, and I'm not super... See, this is really getting on my nerves. Like, this shouldn't happen. This should not be this easy to do. But people keep rolling out into my base. And it's really, really getting trifling. Like, I don't know who keeps coming in here, but I'm not super thrilled. This is the second time, like, you guys saw, I closed my gate when I left. And this is the second time my gate has been opened. And I'm not super thrilled with that. Like, that shouldn't happen. I mean, blow a hole in my wall, break down my wall, that's fine. I can live with that. I can tolerate that. In fact, I wouldn't say I welcome it, but, you know, I can understand that, but... Just opening my gate? Ah, oh, it's so annoying. It's going to leave, like, new people to come in and go, Oh my gosh, the most amazing stuff ever is here. You know, the people who can actually pick the lock probably don't need anything that's in here. So, yeah. That whole situation. Alright, what I think I'd like to do, if I could... I think I'm going to pick this up. Come on. Is it, is it going to bug out again? Or did it actually go in my inventory? It went in my inventory this time. Good. Uh, what I think... Did they steal my charcoal? No, they didn't. Okay, cool. Uh, I'm going to put my unlockable chests, or at least one of them, inside my little room in here. My little dark, dark, dark room that nobody can see inside. And in here, I apparently don't have enough room to do it. Which I kind of find to be slightly humorous. It's a little bit funny. I think I could probably just, like, plop it down on top of stuff? I don't know. Can I? Will it let me? Will it let me? No. It'll kind of let me put it over there. Which I don't really like, because then it's in plain sight of... Also, it's making it difficult to get in and out of here. Let me make sure I can do that, though. Eh. I don't like it. I don't like it. I'm going to need this place to be slightly larger, and I don't think I can make it any bigger. Like, without really, really modifying stuff heavily. So, let's see. Let's see. Maybe we can bring it out this way a little bit? Yeah, I think I'll do that. I'd love to know who keeps getting into my base, though. It's real. Darn it. It's really getting on my nerves. Give me my stuff back. But there we go. Put it in the hot slot, man. Put it in the hot slot. So, if you guys haven't seen, if I, like, somehow totally blanked on showing you guys how the, uh... The whole situation here works. Oh, we need to keep that there. Sorry. How the uh, crafting works. Any block that's placed, you can right-click and remove uh, up to a certain point. Eventually, they become locked in place, or so it's said. Now, I've been able to un undo everything that I have crafted so far, so that rule apparently does not apply to me because I have never been unable to right-click and remove stuff, so... Not sure what's going on with in that regard to me, but yeah, this is going to work out okay, I think. There we go. There we go. I like that. So that's basically how it works. I mean, it's pretty simplistic. I don't... Is maybe somebody's sitting up here? I mean, I didn't really clear my base. I didn't go, like, around each corner. Clear! Clear! But I, again, I don't have a partner, so it'd be weird to be running around saying clear all the time. Alright, so let's pick this up and move it out of the way. And there it is. Yeah, this is much better. I like this. I might even I might even throw like a, a little a small wall torch up in this place. I think that'd be okay. And that'd be just fine. Alright, we'll do that. Maybe we'll go over here and we'll try to make that wall torch I was talking about. It's gonna be good, I think. Let's see, how much resources do I need for the wall torch? A small one. I need exactly what I have. In fact, I have two more than I need, which is really, really cool. So we'll craft that. We'll throw that into my, my little tiny room over there. And hope that I don't die of, like, pollution because of the smoke from the torch. And if I'm okay with that, I think we'll be good. Yeah, this doesn't seem unsafe in any way, does it? Like, what could possibly go wrong with this plan? I don't see anything. Do you guys? <laughs> Alright, so I need to get some wood or sticks to throw into that. I have wood and or sticks. In fact, a lot of wood and or sticks right over here. So, I think I'm going to break off the episode here in just a moment's time. 
That did not work. Let's try it again. There we go. And what I'm going to do when I come back is show you guys about refining steel, everything else, and then I'm going to go looking for a fight. And hopefully I don't choose to fight the wrong individual and then get completely owned, and then you guys will laugh at me and everything else. Hey, you know, I'm just going to roam around rolling noobs left, right, and center. That's the goal. So let's turn that on, and bam! Illuminated housing. I like it. All right, folks, that's going to do it for this episode. Don't forget to comment on these videos to win yourself a, well, get a chance to win yourself a copy of Reign of Kings. The developer sent me an extra key for you guys, so I am going to give it away to one random person who comments on this series. So, thank you guys for joining me once again. This is going to end this particular episode of the first look at Reign of Kings. Until the very next episode, which should be soon, and I want to also point out that I will post it in probably an annotation, and I will send a private message as well as posting a comment to let you guys know who won the key. I will not be saying the name of the individual in the episode because I'm recording the next episode immediately after this one. So, thank you guys once again. I will see you next time with more Reign of Kings. Until then, my name is Bumpy McSquiggums, and I will see you later.